How and why do people protest? That is what Bruno Freire and I study in our sociological careers. As critical scholars, we also engage in critiquing the social world around us. However, through our study of critical theory, we notice that the dominant paradigm did not fit our observations and understandings. The dominant form of critical theory is largely negative. It focuses on showing the ways that people do not understand the world around them. This generates a sort of passive engagement, letting power maintain social order. But when Bruno and I observed our protesters, they did understand that there were injustices and they actively worked to change the power structures around them. Bruno and I argue that critical theory needs to be updated for the 21st century. Critical scholars should embrace the idea that social actors critically engage in the world around them and further cultivate these alternative ideas and practices. To do so, critical theory should move away from transcendentalism or the attempt to explain how certain ideas are possible and move towards a more phenomenological and pragmatic approach one that focuses on the lived experiences and understandings and how people actively work to change the world around them. This will help communities develop their own ideas and practices, embracing the critical theoretical goal of helping to create change in the world, but in a more positive way. As they say in the improv world, critical scholars should embrace the yes and by embracing a more positive approach and helping communities build, we hope to see more critical scholars work hand in hand with critical communities to construct new ideas and alternative possibilities. This will help amplify and diversify the voices that shape society and also help critical scholars shed the oft-described pejorative accusations of critiquing from the ivory tower.